Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in displacement current density in EMF. So here the displacement current density is denoted as JD that is equal to rho D by rho T. Conduction current density is denoted as JC that is equal to sigma into E. Here the displacement current can be obtained by using the formula epsilon A by D dV by dt. Here V represents the voltage, A is the area, epsilon is the dielectric constant, D is the separation between two plates. There is one more relation that is the ratio of conduction current to the displacement current is equal to sigma by omega epsilon. So let's solve some problems in this displacement current and displacement current density. The first problem, in a medium, the electric field is given as E is equal to 10 sin of 1000 T minus 10 X A Y. Calculate the displacement current density. So here they have given us the relative permittivity that is epsilon R is equal to A T. So in the solution part, first we have to write the given data. So what are the data given in this problem? One is electric field intensity, the next one is relative permittivity. So here we are going to use the formula JD is equal to rho D by rho T. This D is nothing but epsilon into E. So first we are going to find out this D value, then we are going to differentiate this D with respect to T. Okay, so here the electric flux density D is equal to epsilon into E vector where epsilon is equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r. So epsilon naught is the constant value that is 8.854 in 10 to the power minus 12. Okay, epsilon r value is given that is 80. Okay, so we are going to substitute all these values in this expression. So we can get the electric flux density d is equal to 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 multiplied with 80 into the electric field intensity is 10 sin of 1000 T minus 10 X. Okay. So here the direction is AY. Then we can simplify this. We can get the answer as D is equal to 7.08 in 10 to the power minus 9 sin of 1000 T minus 10 X AY. So next we are going to find out the displacement current density. So we are going to simply differentiate this D with respect to time. So here we can take the differentiation with respect to time. So 7.08 into 10 to the power minus 9 is a constant term. So we are going to differentiate this sine term. So differentiation of sine is nothing but plus cos. We can get cos of 1000 T minus 10 X. Then this T is having the value 1000. So we can multiply the differentiated value with this 1000. Then we can get 7.08 into 10 to the power here minus 9 here it is 1000 we can get 10 to the power minus 6 cos of 1000 t minus 10 x. Do you all understand this one? So this can also be written like this 7.08 this 10 to the power minus 6 can be written like this micro. So we can write 7.08 cos of 1000 t minus 10 x a y micro amps per meter squared. Do you all understand this one? The next problem is find the displacement current density for the electric field E is equal to 300 sin 10 power 90 volt per meter. So in this one they have given us only the electric field. We are going to find out the displacement current density. So here we can assume the epsilon r value as 1. If it is not given we can simply assume that value as 1. Okay. So here we are going to find out the displacement current density for that we can use the formula rho d by rho t. So this d is nothing but epsilon into e. We can take this epsilon outside. Simply we can write the expression directly to this jd formula. So here epsilon is nothing but epsilon naught into epsilon r. So we can consider epsilon r value as 1, epsilon naught value as 8.854 in 10 to the power minus 12 into 1 dou by dou t of 
300 sin 10 to the power 90. So here we can differentiate this value with respect to time. We can take this 300 outside as a constant and differentiation of sin is nothing but plus cos. So cos of 10 power 9 t multiplied with this t value 10 to the power 9. Okay, here we can further simplify this using the calculator. Then we can get the displacement current density is equal to 2.6562 cos 10 to the power 90 in terms of amps per meter squared. Do you all understand this one? The next problem, the conduction current flowing through a wire with conductivity sigma is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 7 Siemens per meter and the relative permittivity epsilon r is equal to 1 is given by IC is equal to 3 sin omega t milliamps. Here omega value as 10 to the power 8 radian per second. Find the displacement current. So in this problem we are going to find out the displacement current by using this conduction current. So first we have to write the given data. So here the conductivity sigma is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 7 Siemens per meter. Epsilon R value is 1. Here conduction current IC is equal to 3 into sin omega T into 10 to the power minus 3 amps. Omega value as 10 to the power 8 radian per second. So as we already discussed, the relation between the conduction current to the displacement current is given as sigma by omega epsilon. From this we can find out the displacement current density that is equal to IC omega epsilon by sigma. Then we can substitute all the values here. IC is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. That means here milliamps can be written like this. 10 to the power minus 3. We can consider only the magnitude. So we can take only 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. Not this sign. Into Omega value as 10 to the power 8. Here epsilon value is epsilon naught into epsilon r. Epsilon r value is 1. Epsilon naught value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by the conductivity value is 3 into 10 to the power 7. Then we can get the displacement current as 88.54 into 10 to the power minus 15 amps. So after taking the magnitude of this displacement current, we have to include the angle, okay, that is direction. So here the displacement current is always right angles to the conduction current. If the conduction current is having sine value, then the displacement current is represented with cos value. So here ID is equal to 88.54 into 10 to the power minus 15 cos omega t in terms of Ampere's, okay?